You're watching episode number 17 of the Fit Traveler video blog. Today I want to tell you about my favorite on-the-go lunch item, which is the smoothie. You've all had smoothies, maybe as snacks, maybe as treats. I want to talk to you about having them as a meal supplement, which I've taken on over the last year as one of my primary lunches during the week. I'll, I'll normally have a smoothie for lunch multiple times during the week. I've, I've been growing uh, more and more uh, particular about places that I go for lunch, uh, enough to where it's starting to cause problems. It's not a great quality that, that I'm developing, but um, when, I'm, when I'm looking for lunch during a busy day, I don't want to spend time considering where I'm going. I don't want to take a lot of time ordering. I definitely don't want to sit down and be waited on and take a lot of time for lunch. I'm just running and I want to continue running. So smoothies have started really kind of checking the boxes of what I like for lunch and it's what I've really, it's why I've really adopted that as a regular part of my lunch routine. Um, they don't take long to prepare at all, whether I'm ordering it from somewhere or I'm doing it myself. I'm grabbing it and I'm taking it with me and I'm consuming it on the go. It really fills me up for several hours and it contains uh, uh, the nutrients that I need and that I want. And another thing, I'm, I'm, I've really started to have a problem with going to eating establishments where I can't see all the different steps of them preparing the food. It's starting to bother me. Um, I'm trying to get over it, but smoothies check that box as well because I get to see exactly what they're putting in, the steps that they're taking. So when thinking about um, having a smoothie for lunch, first off, I get a comment a lot, well, smoothies are too expensive. They're expensive, they're 10 bucks. If you go to a store, just count on spending 10 bucks on your smoothie. But if you're thinking of it in place of lunch, it's hard to find a healthy lunch for under $10. So if it's taking the place of a lunch, it's gonna be a wash. If you are getting a smoothie in addition to or as a snack, then yes, smoothies get expensive. But when you think of it as a meal supplement, um, you really get to pick and choose what you want to go in it. You can play around with different ingredients. You can see how they make you feel. You can see how long that they uh, will fill you up and you can change them from day to day. So if you're feeling like you need to get more fruits and veggies into your diet, a smoothie is a great place to add those in. If you're wanting a few additional calories, maybe you're not gonna eat again for a while, throw in some peanut butter, it'll fill you up more, add those calories to you. Um, you're wanting to add protein, whether it be whey protein, soy protein, plant-based, whatever it is, you're throwing that in your smoothie. You need to add some sweetness to it. You can add a little bit of honey, you can add a little bit of chocolate, different things that you can add in there. And as you play around with them, you can see how they make you feel, which ones will last longer in your system, which ones will give you energy. Of course, there's all different enhancers that you can add to it. If you have a chance to either work from home or go home for, for lunch or make lunch at your office, consider bringing a, bringing a blender up to your office and even making them there. If you get to go home for lunch and make it there, obviously those smoothies are gonna be less expensive than $10 each when you're making them on your own. Um, I do wanna warn you that if you, if you get in a routine like me where you're having multiple smoothies each week and it becomes a regular part of your diet, you really wanna to start to control and limit the, um, the ingredients that are going in them. And um, uh, I mean, really too much of anything starts to become a problem. So if you like the sweetness of the chocolate or the honey, maybe you don't wanna use that every day. If you feel like you're getting a lot of sugar in your diet already, watch out for what fruits you're using and how much fruit is being used in your smoothie because that can take on too much sugar. Um, if you feel like you're getting too many calories, get rid of the peanut butter. So just play around with it. Um, one thing that I love about smoothies is, you know, you're wanting some additional dairy. You can add Greek yogurt, you can add almond milk, you can add skim milk, whatever you're looking to add. If you need dairy out of your diet, you can make it with water. Now that used to be like a really gross thing to consider a smoothie with water, but the way that they, they're made today and the different ingredients, um, I love them. That's how I make all my smoothies is with water. So it's a great thing that you can adopt and bring into your into your lifestyle. You've seen some other blogs from me where, you know, for lunches, I just have a no bread rule. So that rule sandwiches out. Sandwiches kind of are that easy grab and go on the go. And so I, sandwiches are not an option for me during lunch. So this the smoothie really kind of takes that place. And, and it's it's been something that's just great for me as I travel around. Coworkers that ride around with me are kind of on the smoothie train now as well. So I wanted to share it with you. I wanted to encourage you to try it out, see if you like adding a smoothie in every now and then for, for, your, uh, for your lunch. 
see if you can handle that smoothie as a meal replacement. It's, um, it's a little bit different, but try it out. I think that you'll like it. Today, I wanna to give a special shout out to New York Underground Fit Fitness. You see the shirt here. They're one of our gym partners uh, in Manhattan. They're kind of on the southwest side of Central Park, beautiful location. They're at the bottom of the Watson Hotel. Go in there, talk to Eric. It's a beautiful gym. If you live in New York, check it out. Maybe it's the right place for you to join. If you're visiting New York and want, need to get in a good workout, you can download a 1440 Fit Pass, um, a Fit 1440 Fit Pass, um, and go work out at New York Underground Fitness. So thanks, Eric, for the shirt. I appreciate you guys. I love partnering. Um, as always, thank you for following our blog and following us on social media at Fit1440. We're always announcing new gyms that we're partnered up with, um, new tips and tricks for traveling healthy. If you have any tricks and tips of your own, please send them my way. I'd love to share them with everybody. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next week.